Let's say you go to Home Depot to buy some wood to build a doghouse. But when you get back home, you realize you don't know how to put the wood together. So your doghouse doesn't stand up. That's where fasteners come in because fasteners help hold things together. Anytime you want to build anything, you need to be able to take the pieces you're using and connect them together. You need to be able to fasten them together. And there's so many types of fasteners in the world. I've got eight here on the screen in front of me. But see if you can think of any more once we're done talking about these eight. For example, let's talk about staples. You can use this to fasten bunches of paper. Or maybe you want to use paper clips depending on what you need the paper for because you got to understand if you got to take your paper apart and put it together throughout the day, let's say you have to be able to do that, it's going to be hard to remove staples, but these might be a better choice. You can also use liquid glue. You can use white liquid glue to fasten things like wood or you can use them to fasten paper together. However, if you use this stuff on paper and your paper is really thin, your paper might get soggy. Okay. And um, yeah, and when you do use it to fasten paper, it's hard to unfasten it. It's more permanent. Okay, you can't remove this stuff once you put it on paper. If you use it on wood, you could use that to fasten wood together, but maybe you might want to use nails instead because nails are stronger. Okay, it'll fasten your wood much better than liquid glue will. Glue stick can be used on paper. It won't get your paper soggy. It's a very good option for normal paper to fasten them together. For projects like arts and crafts. You can use also elastic bands to fasten things. You can also use tape and stitches. Okay, Stitches meaning just thread that holds different parts of your clothes together. Like for example, take a look at your sleeve. I want you to go up your sleeve all the way up to where your sleeve connects to your shoulder and I want you to see what's connecting your sleeve to your shoulder. You see those stitches that run down, how the thread hooks them together? That's where that's an example of how stitches fasten your clothes. And take a look at other parts of your clothes. See if you can see more stitches, more fasteners on your clothes. Let's do a practice question. What type of fastener would you use to fix a broken jar? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now you can probably use two of these, although one is better than the other. Well, let's eliminate some wrong ones. You you don't want to use elastic bands, of course, to fix a broken jar. That's not going to work. Let's move well, it won't move, but you know, it's not an option. You don't want to use nails because that's going to break the jar more. So it's between glue and tape. And you know what? They both will work. However, tape is going to make the jar look messy once you fasten it. Your jar won't look very fascinating afterwards. Glue might look more natural. You'll still see cracks in the jar, but it'll look more natural. So glue is going to be the better option.